Hey, what's up? Welcome back to another tutorial from PH Studios. This is from the Space Shooter tutorial series. And last tutorial, we did more stuff to the bullet ship and enemy classes. And we expanded upon that. We still have some stuff left to do. But for now, we're going to take all that stuff aside and worry about the menu system for now. So there's one mistake I forgot to mention in the tutorial before is we set velocity is equal to vector 2 dot multiply and we pass velocity comma source dot speed times 1.5. Now we need to identify this as a float. Now you can either cast this as a float or set 1.5 F. Either way will work. So let's save all. Okay, so in this tutorial we're going to worry about the menu screen system and we're just going to build the for this tutorial we're going to build the uh main menu screen uh get some of that going so we brought in our main menu system already from the earlier tutorials if you want detailed explanation on that i discussed that in the panels tutorial i discussed that in the space Shooter pdf tutorial i discussed that in the uh, advanced technique series and you can check out either one of those to get a detailed explanation on the menu system. So I don't want to bore you to death discussing that again for the 15,000th time. We'll just go ahead and use the code we've already written. Alright, so we already have the main menu system, menu screen, and that's the parent class. So as I said before, we want everything in a derived class. Now if you get more complicated, you might want to have various like menu screens, folder, or stuff like that. If you have a thousand menus, you might want a different menu screens, folder, or things like that. But for the sake of the tutorial, we'll only have like four screens. So let's right click the screens folder and let's go to add class. And let's call this main menu screen. and press enter now set this as a public class and it's a derived from menu screen and change its namespace to the standard namespace we had before so delete the dot and everything following it okay so we're derived from menu screen so what we need to do is we need to create some instance variables this is different from the menu screen I've had in the PDF and the Paddles tutorial. In this uh, tutorial, I'm using the latest menu system I've created, which we use a menu entry, and that uses events to do things. So we need to create several menu entry objects, depending on the menu entry we want. So for the main menu screen, we want play, help, and quit. So we just do menu entry play help and quit now we need to create a constructor so public menu main menu screen and we just need to initialize these play is equal to new menu entry we pass this to identify this current screen and the texture we want to do now if you do up and down we have various uh, overloads we can do so two is what we want so we just want a title we don't want a texture yet play game so you want to use a second constructor of the menu entry so I'll do that again help is equal to new menu entry again we're on one which accepts this and it's one in a texture 2d so press up or down on the d-pad or on the keyboard that way we get to two of three which is it's just accepting a title so let's call this help information and again for quit is equal to new menu entry this comma press down and it's wanting quit game okay 
So now let's public override unload content. Remember, unload content will be will occur whenever we need to. Whenever the menu system goes away, we need to unload the content. You can make a new method, but in this case, we might want to make textures. This saves it up for later, but for now, we're just going to do a play menu entry. The list menu entries that's clear. So that way it clears out the menu entries. So now what we need to do is we need to go up back to the constructor. Public override. We need to, underneath the constructor, we need to override the initialize. And if you're not familiar with the system that I have implemented, if you are not sure if you want to leave base on initialize or base dot whatever you are you right click and go to definition as you can see there's no code in here so all you need to do is just delete that since there's no code in there it's just wasting a call so our initialize we just need to add menu entries dot add play menu entries dot add help menu entries that add quit okay now before we do that still in the initialize let's initialize our menu entries a little bit better in order to do that we just do play we need to set up the position play and there's two methods for this there's set position and set relative position Set position will set the, if you are doing this on the pixel basis on the game window, that's what set position will do. Set relative position will accept another menu entry that will base its positioning off the menu entry passed to it. And I'll explain that when we get to the help implementation. So position is equal, uh, Parentheses, not equal. It's not a. Uh... So we do the parentheses since it's not a property. All right. Now it's wanting a position as a vector two. So let's do new vector two. So then we need to add using Microsoft X and A framework. And this is the position relative to the game window. So relative to the top left of the game window, this is what our position is going to be. So I'm going to choose something that's around 100, 200. And Boolean sets it, is this the initial position? So it is true. And we're done with play, so now we need to do help. Help dot set now we're going to do relative position. That's based off the play menu entry. So we're just going to use relative position. So now it wants a relative position. So new vector 2. Alright, so new vector 2. Now, the relative position is based off the, the menu entry we are going to pass to it. So all we want is we want it to shift down. We do not want it to shift left or right. We just want it to shift down. So the relative position X value is 0. Now, the relative position's Y value needs to be shifted down plus a little bit extra. So we're just going to use sprite font dot line spacing 